how to assess and complete an assessment. During the coronavirus lockdown, we'll be assessing all students through Office 365, in particular via the Teams app, which I've indicated there with the arrow and the circle. The next few moments of this video guide will focus on each year group individually, just explaining the exam schedule. There's no point in watching each one, so just forward to your particular year group, uh, watch that section, and then forward the video again until you get to a screen that looks similar to this one where it will commence. There will be no particular year group page for year 12 as teachers are setting uh, assessments directly with the students. Year 10. Your assessment window is Monday the 18th to Thursday the 21st of May. The schedule is here in this top table um, and you can see for example on Monday the 18th of May you have three assessments, one for English language, one for physics and one for your option A subject. The table below shows the subjects in each option block. So for option A we have art, business studies, French and so on. It's followed by the class teacher's name and a code in brackets which will become clearer why I've put that in there later on in the video guide. Um, you'll notice that some subjects such as history and geography do appear in multiple option blocks. In fact they appear in all three. Um, so look for your teacher's name and if like Mrs Turner for example here she has two history groups in year 10 then the code next to it will indicate which is your particular group and you'll be able to find that on Teams. Year 9. Your assessment window will be Monday the 15th to Friday the 19th of June. Your uh, assessments are in this table here. Over the five days you will have two assessments per day. So if we take Monday the 15th of June, for example, you'll have one assessment set for RE and one set for option C. In the table below, it tells you which subjects are part of those option blocks. Um, so in option C, we have art, computing, French, and so on, followed by the teacher's name and a code in brackets, um, which will become clearer in, later on in the video guide why that is there. You'll notice for some subjects, such as history and geography, they do appear in every single option block so find your teacher and if there are the same teacher teaches two groups for example Mr Thompson with geography uh, teaches in option block A and option block C you'll know which class you are um, with the class code again that will become clearer later on. Year 8 your assessment window is Monday the 1st to Friday the 5th of June that's immediately after the half term break you will have assessments all week uh, in the subjects indicated. So if we take Tuesday the 2nd of June as an example, you have an assessment in science, one in ICT and one in performing arts. If we just look at Friday the 5th of June, there's just two assessments on this day, geography and either French or Spanish, whichever one you are taking. Year 7, your assessment window is Monday the 1st to Friday the 5th of June. You have assessments all week. And you'll have either three assessments or two assessments on any one day. And if we take uh, Tuesday the 2nd of June as an example, you have a, an assessment in English, an assessment in either French or Spanish, whichever one you take, and an assessment in PE. Later on in the week, just two assessments per day. So Thursday the 4th of June, you will be set an assessment on either science, uh, sorry, on science and an assessment on food. On the day of your assessments, you'll need to go to the Office 365 app and go to the Teams app. Uh, the Teams app icon is here, um, but if it doesn't show, just go into the search bar, type in Teams, and if you click that, it will take you through to the Teams app. Once in the Teams app, you will see all the teams that you are a part of, and they're represented by these tiles here. Um, each tile essentially represents a different class, uh, and for Year 9 and 10 students, you will see the class code here. That will give you an indication of which option block each of your option subjects falls in. So for example, this student in year 10, uh, for option block C, they, their subject is product design. For option block A, their subject is art. And these codes link back to the exam schedule that was mentioned previously in this video guide. For this tutorial, I'm going to focus on the combined biology class here. And to enter the team, you simply click on the tile icon. When in the team page, you'll need to go to the assignments tab at the top here in order to access your assignments. And you do that simply by clicking it. 
All the assessments that you have on any given day will appear in the assignment section and to access them you just click on them. This assessment is set through Microsoft Forms and to access this again you just click on the title. For assessments set in forms they will appear in this format. You'll have a title at the top and any instructions for the assessment uh, such as how much time is allowed, in this case 25 minutes. You then go through and answer the questions. This first question is multiple choice and you just submit your answer by clicking in the um, box that you want. You can change your answer if you want up to the point that you submit the test. You may also get other styles of questions where you have to write in your answer. You just click in the box and type in your answer into the box. And again, you can change that at any point up until you when you submit the test. Uh, the submit button will be at the end. Um, and if you don't see the submit button, it means you haven't completed the test and you need to look for the questions you haven't done. And then once you're ready and you're happy with your answer, you check them, then you press submit. You'll get a response like this, and that just uh, confirms you that the response has gone through to your teacher. Your teacher can now mark that test. You can have a look at the results um, because some of the questions will be marked automatically. Um, and so this test currently says that the student has got one out of three. And you can see that mark is given for the multiple choice question. Um, this question hasn't yet been marked. So you can get a um, an idea of where you were um, once you've completed the test, but you have to wait until the teacher's marked it to get the full marks that you've achieved. To go back to your assessments page, you go cl click on close here. And you can see there you submitted it. And you can go back to the main page. And then we could have a look at the second style of assessment. This will be set by a Word document. And what you need to do is to click these three dots here and open in Word Online. might take a couple of seconds to load. When it does, you will see um, an exam with a, a front sheet you should be, uh, you should recognize. Uh, it will have all the instructions for the exam. This is uh, 30 minutes long. There'll be specific instructions there um, and they're different for each subject. It tells you the maximum number of marks. And you need to scroll down to for the questions. There's just one question on this test. And um, read the question carefully, look how many marks are available, and then write your answer just as you would in any other Word document. You can submit your answer there. And if you look at the top here, it says it's saving. It'll take a couple of seconds. Now it's saved. You need to do nothing else with that. You can close it down once you've completed it. And then importantly, you need to go to this turn in button here. Once you click that, that's like submitting your assessment. And now your teacher has it and they can mark it and give you feedback on the assessment. Another section you need to be aware of is the grade section. You will see here all the tests that you've completed to date. Uh, you can see the two science assessments that we've just done and they have been turned in. This status is important. Uh, because when the teacher has marked it, um, it will come up as returned and you'll be able to see a score that you've achieved and you'll be able to read any feedback that the teacher has given you. So this way you'll be able to keep track of your assessments and uh, see how you've got on and see when they've been marked. And finally, Chrome is the preferred internet browser and uh, you'll know if you've got Chrome because you'll have that symbol on your desktop or if you search for it. Uh, in your in your search bar. If you haven't got it, it's not the end of the world. It's easy to download. If you do get any issues with using Teams, we found that Chrome is definitely the preferred one to use with, with fewer problems. If your normal way of working for assessments in school is to have some kind of exam access arrangement, um, extra time reader, etc., there are some things that you can do. Clearly, you will be able to use the extra time that you are allowed. And if it's on a forms quiz, we will be able to see, or your teachers will, will be able to see exactly how long you've spent on that test. If it's in Word, um, we ask that you do what you normally do in school and just change the color of your writing. So change the font color on the Word document uh, for any work that you do once the normal time has gone and you're using your extra time.
if you uh, use a reader and you need anything read to you, there is a um, an immersive reader function on forms, and it's using that symbol there. If you click that, it will read out the questions to you. So how long have you got to complete the assessments? They should be between 30 minutes and one hour in length, each one. Um, but on the given day, you will have uh, all day to complete it. Uh, so don't spend all day on the assessments. Take the allotted time, but you can do them in the morning, the afternoon, the evening. Uh, and we've done that because we do realise that people are sharing devices, laptops, computers, etc. Uh, and don't forget that if it's a forms assessment, then they are perfectly acceptable to be completed on a phone, on an iPad or, or any other tablet that has the internet. And what do you do if you can't find your assessments? Um, it may well be that you're looking for an assessment that, that hasn't come live yet um, because maybe you've got the day wrong. So please do go back and re-watch the video guide that you're watching currently. Check that you have got the right day for your assessments. Then go and make sure you're looking in the right place on Teams by watching the video guide again. And uh, if all else fails and you've tried that, then please do get in touch with uh, your teacher or your house team and they can help you. And finally, very best of luck in your assessments and please stay safe.